okay wait huh? sorry sorry Hello students, good morning. So today, okay, hi, good morning students. So today we are going to learn about weather condition um, using your English plus one book, page 86. Okay, so to start our class, I am going to play a game with you all okay so what you have to do is you have to answer the question in the game okay all right start the game i'm gonna roll the dice it's cold okay so can you listen to the audio Yes, cold. Yes, okay. It's cold. Okay, so can you tell me what is the answer? It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Good. Okay, so let us check. Good job. Alright, next question. I'm going to roll the dice again. OMG, we have to start again. Alright. So I'm gonna roll the dice. It's sunny. It's sunny. Okay, can you tell me the answer? It's sunny. It's sunny. Good. Alright. Good job. Okay, so I'm gonna re-roll the dice. Two step forward. Hot. Uh, what is it? What is the answer? It's hot. Hot, hot. It's hot. Good job. All right. Next question. It's snowing. It's snowing. Okay. So what is the answer? It's snowy. It's snowy. Good. Okay. Alright. Okay, next question. It's windy. It's windy. Okay, can you tell me what is the answer? It's windy. It's windy. Good job. Alright. So, last question. Okay. Nice. Okay, do you want to proceed with the lesson or do you want to uh continue with the game? Okay. So, I will continue with the lesson later at the end of the lesson. We will play other games, okay? Will that be okay? Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. So, <clears throat> alright, so. So today students the topic for today is weather condition all right so just now um we have learned about uh, rainy uh it's snowy it's cold all right on the game 
So I'm going to explain the learning objective for today. Alright, so I'm going to explain the learning objective for today. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to complete exercise 4 and 5 by listening and predicting the answers about traveler's activity in Antarctica with 4 out of 5 correct answer. Alright, and do exercise 6 uh, by role playing question and answer sessions about weather using phrases in exercise 1 such as sunny, cool and more. Okay, with minimal error. Alright, <clears throat> so today uh, there are three components that we are going to learn which is the first one is nouns, second one is adjective, the third one is sentence pattern. Okay, but noun and adjective we already learned in the previous previous lesson. Alright, so we're just going to recap what is noun, what is adjective. Alright, so uh, number one, noun. Noun is um, Hasbi Hazid, can you read uh, what is noun for me? The description under the word noun? A word that refers to a thing, a person, or animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an. Or an? Yes. Action. Alright. Thank you, Hasbi Hazid. Okay, so that is the meaning of noun. Basically, noun is name of thing, name of person, name of animal, place, uh, quality, idea or action. Alright? Uh, next, we are going to look at the examples of nouns. Okay, the first one is eyes. Okay, uh, look at the arrows. So that is eyes. Next one is snow. Alright, the third one is uh, Asri Hafizi. Can you tell me what is the third noun? Temperature. Temperature. Good job. Thank you, Asri. Uh, next, um, Lia Zafira. Can you tell me what is this um, word? What is this noun? Research Centre Research Centre, good job um, Alright, next uh, Darson, can you tell me what is the next word? Seasons Seasons, good job So all together in this world we have four seasons Okay, but not in Malaysia in Malaysia we only have one season Good, this is for overseas Alright, the first season Um... Shahira Awatif Can you read to me the first Sama. season? Sama Good Good job Thank you Next one um, Afnan What is the next um, season? Afnan? Winter. Winter Thank you Good job uh, Next Season. Uh, all right. Uh, Putri Batrisha, can you tell me what is um this season? Spring. Spring. Thank you. Okay. Last but not least, um, Batrisha. Eh, wait, wait, wait. Eh, Farisha. Sorry. Uh, Farisha, can you tell me what is this season? Farisha Okay, so uh, maybe because of her internet connection um, Shazril Hazi, can you tell me what is this uh, season? What season Autumn. is this? Pardon? Autumn Autumn, good job, thank you Alright, so we have completed all of the nouns that uh, we are supposed to learn today So uh, we'll proceed with adjective Alright um, May I know who is 
uh, who just entered is that Saravanan please write your name at the chat box okay okay ready lah alright thank you uh, never mind uh, okay the second uh, component is adjective alright uh, who wants to read the description for adjective who wants to help me Uh, Alright, Hasbi Hazi, can you uh, read to me the description for adjective? Uh, word that describes now. Thank you, good job. So basically, adjective is word that describe nouns. Alright, words that describe noun. So just now we have learned about um, nouns such as season, um, the I, uh, eyes, temperature, research center. So uh, now we are going to learn about the example of um, adjective to describe the um, noun just now. Okay. So basically, the adjective uh, will be about weather, weather condition. Okay. Uh, for the students who just entered the G meet, please write your full name at the chat box all right so that i can mark your attendance please write your name at the chat box okay um all right uh, so the example of the adjective to describe the weather condition is the first one uh, okay, Asri Hafizi, can you read the first adjective? Hot and sunny. Hot and sunny, okay. Sunny. okay uh, thank you, Asri. Okay, uh, for hot and sunny, doesn't necessarily you have to use both of these word. You can use either hot, you can use either sunny, okay. Next. Um, adjective Putri Nur Batrisha, can you read the adjective for me? Windy. Windy, good job. Okay. Um, next, uh, Shazril Hazi. I Win see and cold. I see and I see and cold. Good job. Okay, so just now the noun is ice, and this adjective is I see and cold. All right. Okay, next adjective. Ah, uh, Afnan, can you read to me this adjective? Stormy. Stormy. Good job. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so that are for uh, for adjective and nouns. So next, we're going to learn about a sentence pattern. Okay, please pay attention to this sentence pattern. Um, all right, because later you are going to develop um the sentence. Okay. All right. Alright, uh, so for this sentence pattern, uh, you can refer to your English plus one book, turn to page 86 and then uh, you can look uh, at exercise 6, okay? So you can refer the sentence pattern there, alright? Okay, um, so the first dialogue would be the purple dial uh, purple box uh, which the boy um, had so can um, one of the boys uh, read 
the question and then after that I want uh, one girl uh, answer the question okay and then we proceed with other um, boy and then other girl will reply next uh, and then we continue the third uh, boy and then other third girl with reply all right so first can we have um, can we have Darson uh, can Darson read the first dialogue Tak nampak lah teacher Tak nampak Tak clear Alright alright Wait lah Okay wait lah sorry sorry Okay, sekarang uh, can you see the slide? Okay. Alright, so Darson, uh, please read the first dialogue. What's the weather like today? Good job. Okay, Lea Zafira, uh, can you answer Darson's question? It's hot and sunny. It's hot and sunny. Good job. Alright, next. Uh, can I have Hasbi Hazi to read the second dialogue? What's the weather like yesterday? Good job. What's the weather like yesterday? Uh, Alright. Um, Putri Batrisha, can you read the second dialogue for the girl? It's cold and stormy. Good job. It's cold and stormy. Uh, the third dialogue for the boys is Can Asri Hafizi help me to read the third dialogue? What's the weather like last weekend? Good job. What's the weather like last weekend? Uh, okay, can... Hmm. Shahira Awatif, can you help me to read the third dialogue for the girl? It's hot. Good job. All right. Oh, uh, now it is ten thirty-seven. All right. So that um that's how the example of the dialogue that you can um that you can uh that you have to um produce later. Okay. Uh, so this is the this one. This box is uh, the example of both of this box are uh, the example of question and answer uh, sentence pattern that you have to that you have to produce uh, later. Okay, for your task. Okay, the first one, the first uh, this uh, the first question 
uh, will be like this okay uh, what's the weather like today uh, we have three um, three words which is today yesterday and last weekend so what you have to do you have to produce three three sentences similar like this one okay and then uh, what you have to answer using um, your answer uh, your answer will be using this uh, sentence pattern okay you have to answer it's blah blah blah, blah. okay it's, uh, whether it's hot or sunny windy i see but i see is impossible for our country it's cold or stormy okay you have to answer based on our current current weather in malaysia all right for example today today is cold so you have to answer uh, if the question asks uh, what's the weather like today you have to answer it's cold for example okay so that is the example uh, of uh, sentences that you have to produce later okay all right so now we are going to do exercise four and five okay you can uh, open your textbook now uh, sorry your english plus one book page 86 turn to page 86 and then I would like you all to uh, do exercise 4 and 5. So first and foremost, read the study strategy. Alright. So, sorry, sorry. Wait, yeah. Alright, so I would like you all to uh, help me read the study strategy. So, Afnan Aziz, uh, Afnan, can you uh, help me to read the study strategy? Afnan? Can you help me to read the study strategy? This one? It's also, you can find this in your uh, textbook, okay? Can you see the study strategy? Yes. Okay, can you read to me? Waiting until before the play. Before you listen, read the question fully and see how you can answer. You can guess. You can guess. Alright, good job. Okay, what we have to do right now is um, okay, uh, that is the first um, strategy which is you have to read the question. Okay, so now I want you all to read the question to me. Alright. Uh, so, okay, can you see the question, uh, this picture, this one, okay, so what I want you all to do is, I want you all to read all of this question and then guess the answer, okay, okay, um, the third, uh, the third step, I want you all to get ready with your paper and pencil. Make two columns like this, before and after. Alright. Um, I would like you all to make the column now. And then show me your, um, show me your uh, column. Okay. Please turn on your camera and then make two columns and then show me your column. Okay? Please turn on your camera. Hmm? 
make two column right before and after before is the uh, the answer you have to list the answer that you uh, have to guess and then after i'm going to play audio and then then we will answer the question together okay Okay, so now uh, you, you have to build two column and then show me your column. Okay, have you finished? Uh, please open your camera, okay? Please turn on your camera. Alright, thank you. The rest. Please turn on your camera. And then show me the column. Alright, thank you. Okay, show me the column that you have built. Alright, so now... um. There are six uh, question here. Okay, so what I want you all to do now, you have to guess the um, the answer. Okay, guess the answer for number one until number six. Page eighty six. Correct exercise five. Alright, so have you finished uh, guessing the answer? No. Okay. Alright, so have you finished? Yeah. Okay, show me. Uh, oh no, no, you don't have to show me. Just read your 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 guess answer. Okay. Um, Leah Zafira, can you read to me what is your uh, answer for before box, for before column? Number one, A, B or C? Okay, you read all of your answer. Number one, photographer. Alright. Number two, eyes. Number three, penguins. And number four, and then number five, the Celsius, number six, let Number six, let All right. Uh, number five, what's your answer? Sorry. Number five. Number five, B. B, all right. Okay, thank you, Leah Zafira. Okay, so now, uh, I am going to play you all the audio. So, listen very carefully uh, and then answer the question, okay? Write your answer at the after box, uh, after column, okay? Alright. 
So I'm going to play the audio now. Alright. Unit 8. Vocabulary and listening. Exercises 3 and 5. Today. Uh, can you listen to the audio? Yes. Alright. Today I'm talking to explorer Stephanie Lowe. She's going to go on a trip to Antarctica in November. What are you going to do there, Stephanie? I'm going to walk to the South Pole. Walk? To the South Pole? Why? Well, I'm an explorer and a photographer. I'm going to take photos of the ice in Antarctica. Of course. It's very icy there. Yes. 98% of Antarctica is ice. Wow. Why are you going to go in November? Because it's summer there. There are only two seasons in Antarctica. Summer and winter. Really? Yes. It isn't sunny in winter. It's night for six months. And in summer, it never gets dark. What about animals? Will you see any polar bears? No, I won't. Polar bears live in the Arctic. But I hope I'll see some penguins and whales. They live in Antarctica. Oh, yeah. What equipment are you going to take? A lot. For example, special clothes, waterproofs, sunglasses, water bottles, a penknife, and some sun cream. Sun cream? Yes. It won't be hot, but it'll be sunny in November. What will the temperature be like? It'll be very cold, of course. It's very windy in Antarctica, and the wind changes the temperature. In November, the temperature will be about minus 30 degrees Celsius. So a very good tent and sleeping bag will also be important. How will you talk to your friends and family at home? I'm going to take a special laptop. But at the research centre at the South Pole, there'll be telephones and computers, so communicating will be easier. There'll also be nice meals and hot water at the centre. Well, good luck, Stephanie. I hope we'll see you next year. Alright, so that is the audio for uh, exercise 5, okay? Uh, so, have you done with your answer? Yes. Alright, so let us check the answer together, alright? Okay, uh, who wants to give me, give me the first answer? Uh, Hasbi Hazik? Can you tell me the first answer? Oh, you can read the question on the slides, okay? Pardon? Stephanie is also a... Teacher A, B or C? A A Alright uh, Stephanie Good job um, Hasbi Hazik is it? Okay, good job Hasbi Hazik uh, But the question for now uh, Sorry, the answer for question number one is B Photographer Yes Number one is B Okay Thank you Hasbi Hazi Good job Okay uh, Alright So Number one The answer is B Photographer Number two um, Can Leah Zafira um, Read Read uh, Question number two, as well as uh, tell the answer to your friends and me, okay? Pardon? Is ice. 
Alright So number one is Eyes Good job Thank you Leah Zafira Okay so number one is Eyes eh, Sorry number two 98% of Antarctica is ice. Okay, so proceed with number 3. Um, make sure you mark your answer, okay? If you got your answer correct, then mark your answer. If your answer is wrong, and then uh, you have to write the correct answer, okay? Number 3. Uh, Putri Batrisha, can you help me to read number 3? You tell me the answer. See. Uh, read the question first. In Antarctica, the the penguins will see penguins and will. Penguins and will. Good job. Okay, so number three is C. Okay. So next number four. Thank you, Putri Batrisha. Okay, next, uh, can I have Shahira Awatif to read the question to your friend? As well as the answer. Okay. Please read the, uh, the question. Okay. Sunny and cold. All right. Um. Thank you, uh, Shahira Awatif. The answer for question number four is is A. Okay. Sunny, windy, and cold. All right. Number 4 A. Sunny, windy and cold. Alright. Okay. Proceed with number 5. Uh, can I have um, Darson? Can you read number 5? The temperature is about 30 degrees. <laughs> okay. So your answer is A, B or C? I can't hear you. A B B Alright um, Thank you Darson Okay the answer is uh, C Which is negative Negative 30 degree Celsius The answer is C Okay Thank you Darson Alright, number six. Uh, last question. Um, can I have Afnan? Afnan? Alright, please read the question as well as the as well as your answer. She communicate with her friend and family with a special laptop. With the special laptop. Alright, good job. Thank you, Afnan. So, number six, the answer is B. Okay. Alright. Uh, good job, you all. Okay, now, uh, can you please share your answer? Uh, I mean, your before and after box. How many um, answers that you've got? Uh, correct and wrong Okay uh, Leah Zafira Can you share with us Your your marks Per 6 How many you got um, Correct 4 4 four over 6 Okay good job 4 over 6 uh, Farisha Farisha are you here Okay, she's not here. Uh, Putri Batrisha, can you share with us your your marks? Eh, Putri Batrisha. Uh, 
Syahira Awatif Three, okay, thank you. Okay, for before and after, uh, do you get the same mark or different mark for before and after? How many you got for before and after? Uh, Lia Zafira, uh, for before, how many marks you get and after? After the four is for after or before? Lia Zafira? Yes. Yeah, just now you mentioned you got 4 over 6, kan? Uh, right. So the 4 over 6 is for before or after? Okay, so like this lah. After this, you snap your... You snap your uh, this table, okay, and then send to me uh, via Telegram or WhatsApp, okay. I will accept both platform, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. So next. Hmm. So, uh, before and after, okay. Uh, so, uh, most of you have written your um, before and after answer here, okay? Hasbi Hazik, Hasbi Hazik, Hasbi Hazik, 1 over 6 and after uh, 6 over 6. So, basically, uh, just now we are doing listening skill, okay? Ha Asri Hafizik. Uh, teacher kalau before betul semua Okay, if be, uh, betul Before betul semua uh, What about your after If betul semua then very good Okay, so Just now I've asked you to uh, Provide before and after column So the before one is The answer that you guess Okay, and after is the answer that when You, you've listened to the audio So uh, that is how we are going to answer listening question in the future. Before we, uh, before you listen to the audio, you have to guess the answer by re, uh, by just reading one, just read through the question. Okay. So when you have uh, guess all the answer, then you can um, uh, listen to the audio. And then uh, mark your uh, your your real answer. Okay. So that is um, the technique of answering listening question. First and foremost, you have to guess the answer, and then next, listen to audio, and then mark your uh, exact answer. All right. Can you understand? So that is um, how we can score on one of the technique that we can score in listening skill listening uh, question all right uh, okay just now you have guessed right so mo um, most of your guess answer which is the before part um, most of them you got it um, correct okay doesn't matter 1 over 6, uh, 4 over 6, or 6 over 6, 3 over 6, all are good, okay? So, um, the moral of the story, uh, later when you found a uh, listening question, we when you are answering listening test, make sure you read through all of the question and then uh, just tick, make a small tick. At your guess answer and then when you listen to the audio then you can um, mark your real answer okay can you understand yes all right uh, okay so this is your task for today okay the first one is you have to snap the uh, your column before and after so this is um, the second task which is a uh, role play so, uh, turn to page 86, uh, exercise 6, 
Oh, thank you Afnan. So Afnan for before he got 4 over 6. After he got 6 over 6. Afnan before 4 over 6. After 6 over 6. Okay, good job Afnan. Okay. Um, so your role play. Okay, I turn to uh, exercise 6. Um, this is actually the sentence pattern that we have learned just now. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to use this um, this uh, this words and then construct your sentence. Okay, so um. Putri Batrisha, can you read to me the words in this box? In this box. And spring, summer, autumn, winter, dash weekend, today, and yesterday. Alright, thank you Putri. Uh, Alright, so... Um, Use uh, what you have to do is you have to use all of the sent, uh, words in the uh, box and then construct your own sentence. Okay, um, okay, so the first question What's the weather like today? So, today, uh, you have we have today, and then the second one we have yesterday, the third one we have last weekend. Okay, so the answer for all of the question is you have to use the, uh, you can use these words or you can also use the adjective that we have learned um, just now. Okay, for example, hot and sunny, uh, windy, icy, cold, stormy. Okay. You can use the adjective as what I uh, written here. Okay, it's hot and sunny, it's cool and stormy. Okay, it uh, doesn't necessarily you have to use spring, summer, autumn, winter. Okay, S uh, use the adjective that we uh, learned just now to answer this question. Okay, so. Uh, after you have uh, constructed this sentence, you have to record your voice um, reading the question and answer and then send your recording uh, via telegram or whatsapp. Okay? So, can you understand the task? Yes. Alright, thank you. Okay, uh, going back to this, uh, to this answer. Okay, so this is the picture. Sunny. Hey, can you hear the audio? Sunny. Yes. Alright. Yes. So the yes. first picture is sunny. Second one? Cloudy. Cloudy. Alright. Windy. Snow. Lightning. Rain. Okay, next. Hot. Mild. Hot. Cold. Yeah. Oh. Oiling. Oiling. Freezing. Freezing. Wet. Wet. What is, is the answer for the first picture? Sunny. 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 Second? Second picture? Cloudy. 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 Good job. The third one? Windy. 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 Alright. Uh, okay, what is the answer for the first picture? No. Nice. Snow. Snow. Good. Second one? Lightning. 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 Good job. 
Rain. Rain. Oh, rain. Rain. In France, okay. it will be sunny. Okay. Okay, so now is the temperature. There's no way learn hot and sunny, right? So now, uh, the first picture. Hot. 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 The middle, the middle one? Mild. Alright. The third one? Cold. Cold. Good. Alright. Uh, number picture, the first picture? Boiling. Boiling. Alright. The second one? Freezing. 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 Okay, uh, the third one? Wet. Wet. Alright, good job. Okay. Okay, so um, that is the end of our lesson. Alright, so do you have other question? Do you have question to ask me? No. Alright. Uh, okay, if that's so, um, thank you for joining the class, okay, uh, okay, uh, wait, eh? Shahira Awatif, uh, okay, uh, the one that haven't sent the marks, Shahira Awatif, uh, Putri Batrisha, Darsen, uh, Af Afnan already sent, Shazri Hazi and Af Asri Hafizi, uh, please send your before and after marks, okay? Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay, so, that is the end of the class. Thank you for joining the class. Uh, don't forget to do your work. If you have any question, you can ask, um, you can ask later, okay? So, thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Stop recording.